Hello, my friends, and welcome to Paulina Art. Today, I'm going to be painting this pretty spring bouquet with three roses. This is my own design. I'm going to attach a link to my Facebook page where you can download the pattern for free in case you want to do this painting. I'm going to list below all the colors that I use. If you would like to see how I painted this pretty spring bouquet, stay with me and let's paint together. I already have my background done, as you can see. And for that, I use a damp sponge. And the colors I use were white, red, and purple, which are the colors that I'm going to be using for my rose. The first thing I'm going to do is block my colors. Now my roses are going to be red and purple, so those are going to be the colors I'm going to use to block the color of the roses. And I'm using a little bit of red and purple to block the outer petals. And I don't have to be very careful when I do this. By blocking my colors first, it gives me a good idea of the choice of my colors. If I don't like anything, I can change it at this point and it's not going to be a big deal. But I am happy with this choice of colors. With my liner brush and a little bit of green, I'm going to add a few branches. And I'm going to do this now because I want them to be in the background after my painting is done. And I'm just gonna let my brush do the work for me. I'm just very softly holding my brush and turning it. And all this adds to the painting. I'm going to start by painting my roses and I'm going to use this brush set, this one stroke angle brush set. And because my roses are small, I'm going to use the smaller brush on the set. This one is a 3A. I have some floating medium on my brush and I'm going to remove the excess. I have white on the toe and red at the heel of my brush. And I'm also adding a drop of purple with the red. I want to incorporate the colors that I use on the background. And I'm going to demonstrate on this rose. And the way I do them now, I start with my outer petals. And I'm gonna start with the bottom one. And I'm always respecting the center of my rose. I'm going to do this side petal. And again, I'm going to turn it towards the center of the rose. And I'm going to do the other, the other side petal. Okay, my three outer petals are done. Now I'm going to move to the center of the rose. And I'm going to do a nice large back pedal. And a second back pedal. And a third smaller pedal. And I'm going to close the bud. And I'm going to close the second center petal. And 
and I'm going to finish adding side petals. And I'm going to push to the side, and then I'm going to bring it in. Same on this side. Sorry about the noise, but my husband decided to, to vacuum downstairs. I'm going to add now two side petals to finish my rows. And my first rose is done. I'm going to do the other two off camera, but I'm going to do them exactly using the same method. Okay, so in this one, I added a little more red than purple. And this one, I just went with white and purple, just to give the painting more variety. But within the same family of colors that I'm using, I'm going to do the bud. For the leaves, I'm using a flat brush. This one is a number 12, but I choose it because I feel it's the right size to paint each half of my leaves. I have some floating medium on my brush and I have green at one side and yellow on the other. And I added a little bit of white with a yellow just to brighten up the yellow. And I'm going to paint my leaves with a light color at the top. And then I'm going to do the opposite on the other side. And that makes the leaf much more lively. I'm gonna go ahead and paint all my leaves exactly this way. There's a lot of leaves, so I'm going to do them, most of them off camera. Okay, all my leaves are done. I'm going to finish the rosebud. I'm going to add some sepals. And for that, I'm using the same flat brush with the brush loaded the same way as I did the leaves. And I'm going to start with a darker color, the dark green at the bottom. And I'm just gonna hug the bud, the rosebud. And I'm adding a little bit of movement just to make it look pretty. And I'm going to add the bottom here. And I can add some small leaves. With my liner brush and some brown and green, a mix of brown and green, I'm going to define the stems, just adding a little bit of shadow. And we can add some thorns. I always like to add a few on the stem. And we can assess our painting at this point and decide if we're happy or if we want to add something else. I have mixed a light pink with my red and white and I have some floating medium just to make it nice and soft and I'm going to add some random leaves.
And I'm also going to add some green sepals and branches just to add more movement to the painting. Okay, my friends, our pretty spring bouquet with three roses is done. The last thing I did is with a round brush, I applied a soft wash of yellow just to some of the petals to brighten up the roses a little bit. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoy doing this painting. I hope you learn something new. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.